this is a special expert session and it's divided in the following ways where first uh, I'll be doing a quick revision to wake you up and uh, I'll ask you a few MCQ questions. I'll show them on the screen. You will answer them in your notebook and I will pick a person randomly to ask the answer and tell me the reason why. Are we clear with this? I will show the question on the screen. You will write it in your notebook. You will not write in your chat box. You will not unmute and speak. When I'll ask a person to please unmute, you will unmute and answer. All right. And there will be a certain time limit. I think I will only give 10 to 15, 10 seconds. Maybe that's it. Not more than that. All right. And uh, during this while, Please do not scribble, do not, uh, um, you know, disturb the class. There are people here who want to learn. Another important thing is there's a, you know, D.Y. Patil College of Architecture will be joining us uh, to help you understand about history of architecture. You can interact with them. There will be a doubt session at the end when you can interact as well. All right. So um, let's start. Yes, ma'am. Yes, All yes. right. All right. Uh, so let's start in the next two, three seconds. All right. Just be ready and we'll start. Here comes your question number one. What does saturating a color do? Option number one, make the color pale. Option number two, changes the color transparency. Three, changes the intensity of the color or fourth makes a new color. This is a MCQ type of question. There's only one answer. MCQ, one answer only. Do not write in the chat box. Do not unmute an answer. Write in your own sheet of paper. Your time starts now. All right. Uh, now the answer will be given by Advaryu. Advaryu, can you unmute and give me the answer? What do you think? Yes, ma'am. Um, I think it changes intensity of the color. And why do you think that? Because as in the image, uh, we can see that slowly, slowly the intensity or the color is becoming bright. And what does saturation mean? It can mean dark and bright both, right? So very good. Uh, it's, yeah. a, it's the correct answer. And yes, uh, saturation of the color changes the intensity. It can be dark, it can be light, right? So you need to work like this instead of thinking, eliminate the options, all right? So this was the first answer. I hope it is clear for everyone. What does saturating a color do? It changes the intensity of the color. All right. Let's move to the second question. Which will make the darkest shadow? Light shining on what? A sheet of thin tissue paper or glass window or wooden chopping board or plastic bottles? Your four option images are, are on your right side which will make the darkest shadow of from all of them uh, all right purnima can you answer for this question Ma'am, my answer is wooden chopping board because uh, if we compare all the options, all the options are like transparent. Uh, wooden chopping board, if, if we uh, pass a light through it, we can't see uh, another side. Uh, it makes darker shadow. That's my answer. Correct, Purnima. Very good. You all are preparing really well. Very good. So the correct answer is wooden chopping board. Yes, because it is not translucent or transparent. It is a full block of wood. That's why the shadow will be the darkest. There will be no light passing through it. So the correct answer for which will be make the darkest shadow light shining on 
wooden chopping board. All right, very good, guys. Let's move to the next. The American mathematician Mark Barr has chosen phi as the symbol for the golden ratio. Phi is named after which of the following Greek sculpture? Fixels, Fivilis, Philips, Phidias. These are your four options. The question is on your screen. Take 10 seconds, take your time and then write your answer. And no Googling on the side, please. No cheating. Of the question. Uh, sorry? I can't say the half of the question. At the side. You can't. Yeah. You can't see half of the question. You need to zoom in. The American mathematician Mark Barr has chosen phi as the symbol for the golden ratio. Phi is named after which of the following Greek sculptures? Golden ratio is named after which Greek sculpture? The option is Fixels, Fivilis, Philips, Phidias. Priyanka, will you answer this question for me? Yes, ma'am. Uh, ma'am, I think it's Phidias. All right. And why do you think it's tedious? I don't know the answer, but I just went it in a logical, went to it in a logical manner. Fidious yes, is correct. The only because name Philip which sounds as yes, yes, yes. Correct. Because if you go with eliminating method, which is removing the other options, pixels. I've never heard of pixels. Phillips. It can't be. So the only two options are Fivilius and Phidias. So very good. Your guess is correct. <laughs> Don't know how you guessed it, but it's correct. So answer is Phidias. He was a Greek sculptor. You should really go out and check out his work because he is the person on which, you know, the Fibonacci series and the golden ratio is being made. So I hope you know uh, this now and very good Priyanka for guessing <laughs> but you need to study this all right let's move to the next question in architecture what is not coming properly ma'am your voice is not coming properly then it's your network uh, can others hear me Yes, ma'am. Yes, we can't hear the yes, voice properly. Yes, ma'am. Yes, so you need to check your network. Uh, all right. So this is the next question. In architecture, these high windows are an example of what? It's just wrong. Who's option. asking you the answer? What was the rule? You write it in your paper. We are not right. interested in hearing. Write it in your paper. I will take a random name and you will answer. Right, okay. Okay. Yes, in architecture, these windows are example of what? And guys, think on your own way. Like what you have studied, think about that. Do not go with what the answer came out. Anyone who is 100% sure for this answer, 100%, no guesses. It looks like one of a very famous buildings. Anyone who would like to answer this question, who is 100% sure? Yes, ma'am, it's first option. It's incorrect. Number four. Any other guess? I can give one more guess. Second option. Central planning. Central uh, plan design. design. Who said pendentives? Uh, Advaryu, ma'am. Advaryu. And one more girl said it. I think it was Lohita. I don't know. Because she yes, ma'am. Lohita and Advaryu. Okay, Advaryu, your chance is over one time. Lohita, why do you think it is pendentives? 
Ma'am, I don't know this picture, but I see this one. Okay, Advaryu, why do you think it's pendentives? Just to find in the option. Uh, in the question, it was given windows. So in the plural form, I just guess pendentives. That is a very weird guess. Please don't work like this in NATA exam. The question is plural, so this is plural. Okay. pendentives because the rest if you will google and see the things they are completely different things a central plan design is something else celestory is something else vaulting is something else and this is also there in a very famous architecture building so the answer is pendentives because it that is the structure where you know you increase the height of a monument by creating a dome over it you know there's a dome and these high windows are kept all right so that's the answer Mom, All right, let's see, that I can't tell. That I'll not tell. That you have to because that is also one of the questions in this. <laughs> okay. So I think you'll be able to guess it. All right, let's move to the. Uh, oh my God! I showed you the answer. Okay, choose the correct pair of analogous colors. Please don't speak. Let others take their time and think. choose the correct pair of analogous colors red violet or red or green or red and blue or red and white all right hema can you answer this question for me Hey ma, you are wearing a pink shirt. Yes. Third one, ma'am, red and blue. Red and blue are analogous colors. Incorrect. Anyone else? Sukriti, what is the answer? Ma'am, red and violet. Red and violet. And why Sukriti? Red and violet. When they're I mean, adjacent to each other, I means after red it comes adjacent violet. Adjacent to each other. Very good. Guys, I am going to teach you a trick. When it's analogous, it's adjacent. A for A. When it's complementary, it's contrast. C for C. Opposite. Analogous and adjacent, which means next to each other in the color wheel. Red comes here, like red will come here. Right? Colors that are of the same group. You know, if you go and look at the C, you will see blue, green. always together when you look at the sunset you will see yellow orange together analogous is that and contrast and complementary are opposite colors on the color wheel so please whenever you forget or get confused in analogous a for analogous a for adjacent all right so red and violet is the correct answer let's move to the next which city is based on sector planning pune Patna, Chandigarh, or Kolkata. Ma'am, can I answer? No, I will take the name. That person will answer. <laughs> Which city is based on sector planning? I have to wake up everyone. Salman Ajit, can you tell me the answer, please? Ma'am, I think option three, Chandigarh. You think, or you are hundred percent sure? This looks like corn banana karupati. Okay, no, are you sure? Yeah, ma'am, I'm sure. Or uh, Salman? Oh, ma'am, I forgot the name. Ma'am, I. Anyone who knows? Ma'am, I can't do it. Take over, 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 take Chandigarh is the most planned city in India. It was designed. You need to know about India. Who designed it? Who was the architect? Who planned? There are so many sectors, and if you are from North India, you should definitely know it. All right, let's move to the next question. 
I will show you four pictures. Okay, these are two in front of you. I will show you two more. You need to choose an example of emphasis. Choose the example of the principle of design emphasis. All right. This is the first two pictures, and these are the next two pictures. Again, I am showing you the images again. This is the first two, and this is the next two. Sukriti, can you mute yourself, please? Which is an example of emphasis? Sai Charan, can you answer? No, ma'am. To be honest, I don't know the answer. You don't know? All right. Let's yeah. go to someone else. Hassan, what is the answer? Ma'am, uh, that last two options are eliminate, eliminated. That first option may say, "Koi ek." Ye ye kya? Wahan pe likh kya hoga? Pehle do option may say, "Koi ek." Ha? First option. First option. First option. Incorrect. Anyone who knows the answer? Ma'am, third option. option C. Third one. Third one. Option C. Third one. Third one. Third one. Very good. Then what does emphasis? उ so if you go back to the other pictures the right one will show you movement or rhythm this one might show you contrast or you know completely two different elements and the right one will show you unity or harmony right but this picture is the only picture because of the red so far it's attracting your of the space that's why m is emphasis take it as you are pointing out to her here no there are no two emphasis in one whole composition there is only one element which is emphasized always all right so keep that in mind Let's ma'am fourth option can be higher key ma'am example of that what refers yes it can be okay. all right um to create an uncomplicated look to an overall composition balance unity harmony pattern or repetition think 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 take examples in your head like imagine if you had to create a painting or you had to you had to take a, you know different kinds or similar elements and you put them together and if uh, uh, it had to look good what will it called imagine five people living together in a good way what is it called without any disturbances anyone who would like to answer Yes, Saswata. So, strong sense. That means it's an uncomplicated look, right? Yes. So the answer. Anyone Unity, else would like to answer? Unity, Unity. Unity. Unity ma'am. Someone said harmony. Someone said harmony. 
Who said how many? There was a girl saying how many? Mom, it's mommy. Um, Krishna, Krishna, yes. Why do you think this is how many? Because it is creating an uncomplicated look. It is not hindering anything. Correct, correct. Uncomplicated look. Unity means people living together, like you know, it holds it together. But harmony will create the difference of you know similar elements making it visually look good also, right? So harmony is the answer. Whenever there's an option, I don't think this kind of complicated question. But if they come, take the right side image as an option. See, unity people are together, but harmony is making them look good, right? Harmony, like how music, different kinds of uh, you know notes make a good harmonious sound. So always remember the words through examples. All right. Let's move to the second last question of the day. How did architects create elements in the dome of Hagia Sophia in Istanbul that float higher than any previous dome? Option one by building flying buttresses option two by using pendentives option three by using cholesterol and mosaics to give the sense that the dome is actually higher than it really is fourth by including vaulting which had no previously been attempted in such a dome i gave a hint when we were discussing in the starting Starting second third question that there's yeah. a very um, yes, pendant so is, yes this is the very famous building which is made on the same concept all right so the answer for this would be b and by using pendants by using pendants see the images there's a dome and then there are these straight you know hemispherical windows that create that essence of height in the dome right so make sure you study about these architectural terms i think if you will write also somewhere architectural terms you will get 100 just pass through it just see through it so that when it comes in exam you know you know it because visually you will understand things more rather than you know mugging it up with formulas and other things so see more because you are creative people you understand by visuals and that will improve your cognitive skill all right today's last question of the day which architect practiced the prairie style of architecture Frank Lloyd Wright, Ludwig Mies, Van der Rohe, I. M. Pai, Henry Hobson, Richardson. The four options are on your screen. Which is the right answer? Okay, for this one, you can all write in the chat what your answer is. You can just write in the chat box, and I'll see it. Everyone can reply for this. Uh, one. Chat is disabled now. Chat, chat is disabled. Is disabled. Is disabled. No, see, now it's denied. enabled. Option one, 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 option two, option four. Sare like the one, two, three, four. <laughs> three, four, one. Who's the most famous person out of these in architecture? Frank, Frank Lloyd. Frank Lloyd. Frank Lloyd. Yes, Frank Lloyd. Then when you are in doubt, you know. When you are in doubt, go with the famous things because that is what will be asked. So the answer for this is Frank Lloyd Wright. If you see all the things that we have made, be it the museum or those things, it's all based on the prairie style of architecture. Uh, what does the style of architecture include? It's what is the uh, specificity of that architecture? Specifically, of the that you can research it's, uh, and read how that architecture is uh, different from others. That's I just want to ask. How it is different? It is different because there is a certain kind of rectangularish and there's certain kind of uh, brick material which is arranged in that way. 
it's more of you know i can say in layman's language that uh, it's very blockish so the easiest way to identify it as a student rather than going to history would be these images like you will find rectangles like linear way of architecture you will find that all right and research more on the types of architectures you will get it you will understand it and go with the famous personalities always all right um, so thank you and uh, please mute yourself if thank you are ma'am and sorry ma'am that is great. thank you a lot of thank you uh, thank you so you, much and uh, thank you ma'am all thank right thank you ma'am i hope uh, this you, mcq helped you and we took mcq because uh, you know um, the pct like 16th and the 17th questions that will have five options 10 options and all these will be the highest to score because mm -hmm.